Hi, this is Matthew Davidson again. I just got to make a quick little video here, a couple minutes, just to propose a, a, a challenge, you know, to give a challenge out to people. Uh, I've, I've, I don't know if you've ever noticed this. I'm sure you have. If you're if you're any, into any sort of religious uh, group, or if you're if you consider yourself a Christian, or consider yourself religious, or faith have a faith, uh, and the, especially a faith that relies on a holy book like the Bible or whatever other uh, proposed holy books there are out there. It, the the phenomenon that you can that two or three people or even a even a dozen people can be in the same room reading reading the exact same passage in any given scripture whether it's the Bible or whatever it is uh, for me it's the Bible and can be reading the exact same thing but getting completely different meaning out of the exact same thing. And I've always wondered, and I've been, you know, wondering more lately why that is. Why it is that, you know, we have the Baptists and the Free Will Baptists and the United Methodists and the regular Methodists and the Southern Methodists and this Methodist and that and whatever. All these different denominations and sects, S-E-C-T-S and divisions and all these different things. And why we have all these different religions that claim to be Christian and may or may not be Christian or whatever. And why, how it is we can all be looking at the same exact thing yet be seeing something completely different. And here's what I came up with. This is what I think. I honestly believe, and this is just me, and you can, you can argue with me or challenge me or whatever you want to. I honestly believe that most of us, most of the people in the world who, who read a, a holy book, uh, especially the Bible, uh, there's more Christian denom denominations than there are of any other religion. Uh, most people are not really reading the book itself they're reading what their pastors their clergy their high the hierarchy of their church or their religious organization has told them to read they're reading the words or seeing the words but they're reading it with a with a, a filter of whatever denomination or church or whatever that they they may uh, belong to and so they're going into it with a whole lot of preconceived notions and so they may see the same thing I see when I read a certain passage, but they're really not seeing it. What they're really seeing is what they've been taught, uh, maybe from birth, maybe from, you know, however old. And it's not, they're not really reading and they're not really studying it. They're just taking the words and adding what they've already learned to it to make it seem to be saying what it's saying, something that it's not. Uh, for instance, God loved the world so much that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Now, to me, that means that God loves the world. And he, he loved the world so much that he gave or sacrificed his son on the cross so that who, whoever believes whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And if you read the, the rest of the Bible, you, you'll understand that perishing means more than just dying. It means perishing uh, in judgment, perishing possibly for eternity. I can read that, and that's what I get, because that's what it says. I mean, it's not what I want it to say. I have no I have no desire for it to say anything other than what it says. Uh, but people, other people have looked at it and said, well, no, what this really means is, is that God um, loves you, and as long as you uh, follow follow the, the the church commandments and and you're a good person and you probably you'll you'll get to go to heaven and if you're not well you'll just uh you'll just uh, become energy and float out into space for all eternity and we can see the same exact thing but get completely different meanings from it and the reason i think that is is because like i said people are reading into what they have into the passage what they've already learned what they've already come into it with so they're not really reading what it says they're reading what they think it says and then they claim they read it so they can say honestly that yeah i read it i studied it and here's and here's where i think it what i think it means so my challenge to you today whoever you may be is to take a passage of the bible um, now, I'm not going to do this for the Quran or for any other religious book because the Bible is the, the book that I believe in. If you're not a Christian, then whatever. But if you're a Christian, if you claim to be a Christian, if you believe you're a Christian, take, take a passage of the Bible, especially in the New Testament, but any passage. Read that passage. 
go into the Greek or the Hebrew, and there's a, a blue letter Bible.org where you can go in and you can see the Hebrew and the Greek. Go into that, look at what the words mean if you're not sure, and then take an honest look at what the actual what the words are actually saying, not just what you've been taught that they're saying. Step outside of what you've been taught and just read the words for what they say. Challenge you on that. And if you do that, I believe um, your life will be a lot better because uh, regardless of what church, denomination, religion you, re you belong to, if you honestly study the Word of God, I don't see how you could possibly come up to any conclusion other than the one I've come up with because I'm not reading it with the desire to for it to say something that I want it to say. I'm reading it with the desire to hear what God has to say, and that's the real challenge. I want you to I want to challenge you to read the Bible and get the meaning that God has for you, not not the meaning that you want it to have, but the meaning that God wants. Even if that meaning is something that's unpleasant, even if the, what it means is something that you don't want to hear. I would rather hear words from God that I don't want to hear than words from people that I do want to hear. Does that make any sense? All right, so that's my challenge to you today. Thanks.